Titan Fragrances here, coming at you with a top 10 dad video slash boss video. This I was actually planning on doing this for Father's Day. Work got in the way, so I. But I I do believe any day is a good day for Father's Day, just like any day is a good day for Mother's Day. Appreciate your mom and dad or any father mother figure you have in your life. That's definitely my message to you guys. But this, if you're stumbling on my channel, welcome out. As a collector, as an aficionado, as a connoisseur of fragrances, I want to give you my opinion that I've gotten through this journey. My pitfalls, discoveries, things like that. I cover niche, independent, designer houses, try to cover a little bit of everything that I can bring to you guys so that you can formulate the best opinion. So as you can see, I'm normally a very casual guy. My work is, is actually very physical, but this one I geared towards fathers, office settings, hence get a little dressed up. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the content. I'm going to blast through these. I'm not a real big fan of huge, huge long videos, so I'm going to get right to it. Uh, I'm going to give you two honorable mentions, and I'm going to give you a bunch of alternatives, so I'm going to bear with me on, on how I'm going to shoot through them. I may not elaborate too much on every single one, just hit the highlights, but this is where I rank top 10 fragrances for the office, for men, or for dads, because these are going to be a little bit more successful, more mature, more more business-like, okay? So, first honorable mention, and this is because I don't have a full bottle on. This is going to span the gamut of niche, independent houses, and so forth, but I'm going to send a shout-out to my boy Kevin over at Essential Obsessions. Uh, this is Signature by Essential Obsessions, his own creation, and this thing is, it, it's just that. It can be a signature scent, um, something that you can wear all the time, well, well formulated, uh, great for office, fresh, Something that, again, can be worn with a suit or can be worn dressed down, worn in, in any type of setting. But just because I got a decan, uh, I don't really count my decans towards the list I normally make. And the second one is just because I barely got this in, so I can't give it a full read. But on initial sprays, this is definitely gentlemanly. Uh, and that's Gravitas Orom. Uh, gorgeous. Review coming soon, but I do think this will fall in this category of uh, gentlemanly dad sense okay now i started out with number 10 a very inexpensive and I, like i said i'm gonna span the gamut of different things this is azaro pour -Om. if you like if he likes barbershop if your husband father whoever it is you're getting this for boss this is very inexpensive in the teens as far as dollars under 20 bucks and classic i mean this thing smells just like you got out of a barbershop uh, really good, really good. Uh, I don't think longevity is is quite as strong as it could be, maybe on old batches, but this is a fairly new one. I got it. I do like that style of scent. Uh, really inexpensive. So if I were to give an alternative, obviously I would go with Reeve Gauche. I only have a small one. Uh, very expensive, hard to find, discontinued, but if you don't, I would go with the next best thing would be Dua's River Fougere. Uh, I think the opening is a little bit sharp, sharper than the original. Uh, it's not as well rounded in the initial, but as it dries down, this thing gets really, really close. Really beautiful barbershop. Awesome scent. Definitely worth looking at if he's into that genre. If money's no object, then I would say go with Creed Viking. It's very minty, but it still gives you that Fougere style. And I'm really digging it more and more. The more, the more I wear it, the more I use it. I definitely, definitely like it. It's definitely a very great gentlemanly scent. So that would encompass my number 10 spot. Uh, my number nine spot is a very cost-effective, great fragrance. I know y'all hear about its step, its brother, but I'm going to start out with the OG, just Bentley for men. I think it's lighter. I think the, the composition of this really is deems worthy of greater price. I believe this is around the $30 range on discounters. Um, so well worth the bang for the buck. Will last all day. The one that you hear about all the time is the intense, and I do like it. It's just it just that it's a little bit heavier. Uh, but I think this year round and in the office, you won't choke anyone out because this one is can be a little nuclear. You go a little heavy, you're gonna really be pushing out. Uh, and I but I think this is a little more subtle. I think it's really metal and it's gonna really work well. A definite gem that's not spoken about enough, but I would go with Bentley for men. But that would be my number nine. I'm going to go number eight. Man, I love this one. It's very green, very clean. This is Dunhill Icon, the regular. 
Oh, yeah. It, it, very green smelling, very fresh. And I think it would go well for any office setting, dressed up casually, even dressed up a little nicer. Uh, but generally scent, I think it is well worth the, this, I also want to say it's in the $30 range. Look at discounters. You can definitely find these up, scoop them up, really inexpensive, but really, really a great gentlemanly scent. Okay. On to the next one. Now, this one's a little harder to find. This would be, I guess, seven. I'm guessing I may be off. Uh, one of my all time favorites, Dolce & Gabbana. Pour on the, the vintage style. I'm not sure of the new one. I can't speak for it. But definitely, I, I'm not highlighting just this one. I think that the one I found that really goes with it is Duas. I know the second one is Vintage Man. They did a phenomenal job. It, oh, man, it is so close. I think it really has done well, and it lasts all day. Uh, really, if you if this is the, the style that you want, I think a lot of... Men around my age have had this one. Really enjoy it. Really great. This is a great substitute. I think this is would definitely be. So my number seven would be Dolce & Gabbana. Pour on the vintage style or the duo version, which is Vintage Man. Now, from an up-and-coming house, brand new, number six for me. No, number seven. I may be off on numbers. I'll, I'll fix that. But either way, the next one. Is by three in one parfums. I just got this. It is a blend. A lot of these houses do phenomenal blends, but three in one with ACBC, which is Aventus Cologne and Blue de Chanel. And this thing, gentlemanly, I mean, the Aventus, the brightness of the Aventus Cologne, uh, which is actually even a little brighter than the Aventus itself. And then the Blue de Chanel, the woodiness, the, the, the richness of what Blue de Chanel, the blue, the ultimate blue fragrance, I guess, in my opinion. Really, really great looking at lasts all day. Inexpensive. These are priced perfectly. Look at three one perfumes. Look at their Facebook group and and definitely go hit them up. But that is a definite gem right there. Now my number five. Number five. Uh, classic. I think in my opinion, Chanel's Platinum Egoist. This thing comes off. So, so good. I mean, this thing is just a, be a beast of a performer for me. It lasts all day, especially if you're in an office setting. So gentlemanly. I, I think that you cannot go wrong with this fragrance right here. Um, so that's why it's so high up on my list. Uh, there's, I'm sure there have been tons of reviews in the past, but this right here has been around for a while. I think it is a timeless fragrance for a man to wear an office setting or even just casually out and about because it's just so such a good scent so number five number four now this starts in the pocketbook a little bit more but we're talking about green irish tweed you cannot there there's a reason why this one and probably event there's a certain couple of them that i'm going to do a, a video on the probably the top four most cloned or inspired or whatever you want to call it. And this is definitely going to be one of them because so many have tried to take this timeless classic and add, either blend it with something else or make their own. And there is a reason because this is definitely just fresh, gentlemanly, and you cannot go wrong with this for an office or any time setting. Just a general great debt. I, I hate to say it because it's timeless. I think anyone from they're teens, you know, you think of this inspired, they say it inspired Cool Water, although Cool Water I think is a little bit di more, more different on its own, but they say that. I can kind of get that, but on its own, Green Irish Tweed is is definitely a gem of a fragrance. It, it must in all, almost any collection, in my opinion, but I'll give you two alternatives. Very inexpensive, probably the 20 in the $20 range. So this is going to be Trey Nui. I know you probably heard this is by Armoff. Armoff is a very big clone house. It does a lot of inspirations. I think it's pretty bright, fresh, pretty similar. 85 percentile, 90 ish, probably even even closer as it dries down. But for me, my personal preference, the one I got more, would be Al Haramain's La Ventura Night. Uh, I think this one's a little closer. I think it's bright, very appealing. Uh, definitely, I think a little bit brighter, but definitely for like 20 bucks, you cannot beat. The price tag for this and it does the same thing uh not as a little more synthetic of course it's a lot less expensive but it's right in that same vein so you cannot go wrong with that one definitely not for the price tag number three uh 
And the only reason this kind of holds it back is because of price. I mean, this you're going to talk some some price and the batching consistency. Sometimes people talk about which I don't. I don't have that many. I just got this this one right here. Uh, but it's Creed Aventus. You hear about it all the time. I think it does work as a great, a successful man scent. Uh, you're talking a higher price tag for sure on this, but that's okay. I got you covered. You hear about it. Mont Blanc Explorer is. It's not so so close to it, but it's in the same vein. It is pretty much their 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 take on it, on the designer realm, and and you're gonna get along those very same vibes. I mean, it's pretty much in their 80 percentile, uh, and I think it it's for a much less pr price tag, you're gonna get something that you will have great mass appeal. It'll work in any office setting, close quarters, cubicles, whatever it might be. Uh, but definitely look at that one if. Creed Aventus is well out of the price range because these are running at stores, even at discounters. You're still talking to $300 price range. So now for number two, it was in one of the blends. I, I think it's timeless. I think it's one of those that uh, probably changed the direction of what or even started. It may have been one of the more ones for the blue craze, but Blue de Chanel. And I'm going to put both these in there, Parfum and Eau de Parfum. Uh, I think they're a little deeper than the Eau de Toilette. Uh, the, only, the only knock on the Parfum, I think it is probably the better formulation, the darker, richer. It's just the price per, it, it gets a little pricey for just the smaller ones. Whereas I think the EDP sits well in the middle between the EDT and does does a phenomenal job. It is, uh, it's so good. It's, like I said, it, it'll it'll last, kind of, it's almost, I mean, Chanel's done a good job with Aguise, Platinum Aguise, this one right here. Is, a, is my number two because I think it's just so versatile. It'll work for anything and has steadily been consistently what people have emulated. And for number one, uh, I like it for this uniqueness. I like it for the quality ingredients. And it, it just, it, you see it in so many lists and so many guys talk about it because it just, I definitely do know and I do believe it deserves the hype it gets. And that's going to be Zahra Signature Pour on. Now, as you can see, I've definitely put some dinner. I even got this to share with family because I like it so much and I want them to experience what this is. The incense, the, uh, man, the, the lavender, it's just so such, you could tell the care that went into making this thing. It, it It's not a projection monster, but the sillage, the, the little scent bubble that it creates uh, that you'll get, the wash you get throughout the day, this thing is just speaks gentlemanly, okay? So I'm telling you. This is my number one. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you find it in your heart down to subscribe, I really would appreciate it. Uh, bring you more content than I can. But these are my top 10. I hope you enjoy it. If I miss something, this aren't the end all. Just comment down below. I enjoy that kind of content uh, communication so I can look towards some things maybe I haven't mentioned in the past. But y'all have a very blessed day.